Yeah, good morning, beautiful people. Happy Friday to you. Good morning, TikTok, Flo. I said, thank you so much for a prime, I'm glad. Say good morning, good morning, everyone. I got an elemental and a naga inside my pot. And yet I need to want to discover the most. If I'm discovering from nagas, I can get a siren, I can get a critter of Ranger, but they are not really that good units. The stats are not really amazing. I can hear a power kill board for some time, so right off task or a naga. But I feel like this is gonna be a bit better. A bit more consistent at least, since I get to choose between two Nagas. Good morning, Chris, madam. And yes, I feel like this can win right now. But it really depends if someone hires or not. It's always like that. If you assemble a perfect beast comp, you can get a first place, but... If you do not assemble a perfect comp and someone else gets perfect trolls, then you're gonna struggle quite a bit. I honestly don't completely realize if it's too late or not. Like, I can just level. Or I can triple buy. I honestly don't really know if Nagas are strong enough for you to buy Siren and a level darker and survive. But this is 10 7 technically, so it's pretty early, since I level pretty fast, right? Good morning, Baka. Yeah, this is kind of good right now. The amount of tempo is um, not that low, I would say. It's just that I need to be doing something. Since I level pretty fast, I need to fill up my board first before I can be selective about what I buy. But it looks like I'm going Nagas right now. Yes, Threshold Kyung, that game was the first place. I got a nice block as well, and I did not even waste it. 
I hurled a lot that game, Tertial Q. I also got a second Atisa after I leveled. Good morning, John Goku, and so should we be. The scene is really, really good. Let's see what I discover first. I might go Naga, so not kill Barbs. There is a safe in that I can utilize sometimes. I'm gonna pick this Dargo Settler. It's really good since I got Pumba and Tough Touch I feel like I wanna get rid of Nagas as well. Keep this as my kill bar for now, then use Necolite on it. I guess this is gonna be my Nagam in Menagerie. I'm gonna give it permanent event shield. It's just that this can give it some stats for our next turn. But then I have this last Siren, which is honestly fine. Siren is not too good. But I might have to sell them both, honestly, for a glow scale. I mean, I just need to move. Can decide later. Second Pumba is really, really good. I guess I'm selling Q and the Nicolette as well. Yes, Tungi, exactly. Siren on tier 5 feels a lot worse than before. It is very difficult to find, and you find it a bit later as well. This glow skill is good, but it needs to be gone, right? This is the good. I'm looking for um, an Agam and Triples, Golden Pumba, Golden Elder. I'm gonna buy an Argus for now and to chill. Since I feel like I'm a monster right now, I will be very surprised if I lose it is. On the next turn, I need to find a Pumba or an Elder, then I can free up some space. I see if I find a Nagam. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna sell. I'm probably gonna sell Chargo and Pumba for a Nagam scaling, but we'll see. I can also sell a tough task. It's not like too good, but at the same time it's a divine shield, which is pretty damn good.
it honestly feels like Naga Sun pretty weak in mid game. And let's see how real your mind off. Nagas are like late game tribe, pretty much like dragons in my opinion. Since he could see that I got Nagas in mid game and it was just not good enough. It was kind of whatever. Alright, this is a bit complicated. Since I need to sell something, kinda don't know what I want to sell. I want my scaling to be as much as possible. When Pumba is definitely gone, I would say. Then I'm gonna use Necolite on something, can sell something else. Got to be a tough task. Task of some Pumba. So I'm selling a Pumba. I want to use Necolite in the Financial Unit, which is this. I might sell a Charglass as well. Not right now, but I'm gonna do it eventually. And the next turn, Chargla might be gone. Depends on Khan what I get. If I triple an Elder, that's gonna be the best possible case scenario. Since then I don't have to sell Chargla anymore. I can just keep it for scaling. I can also keep a glow scale as well. If I triple my guy. Yes, Melee, I'm going for an Agim since Agim is a lot more scaling than what I had before. If I let us get a Necrolite, this knight might be useful, but I'm probably just gonna rotate a Charglam. Alternatively, I can also sell a Glow Scale, which is probably the best option. Pick a Charglam, sell a Glow Scale to cycle some gems, and enter a Charglam for stats. Then I'm gonna play a Leroy if I need to. Vinfiri is kinda good on this one. I like it. I'm gonna pick it up since it's also permanent as well. I also need to sell this before I um, fall too much, since this is a Naga. And Glow Skill still is a bit of buffs. I don't feel like I'm gonna need a save in, but you never know. I'm gonna keep it in my hand. I also want to play around Nadzina a little bit. I wanna put Chargo on this spot. So that this can kill a dragon, this can kill a divine shield, assuming there is Nadzina. I cannot scale this probably, but Nightino is a bit problematic to deal with. I also don't have any HP anymore. That one HP breakpoint was pretty bad, huh? I need a ghoul, that's what I need.
If only this was a dragon, <laughs> this fire spawn will be pretty good. There is a goal. What else do I wanna do? I can play something instead of something, like a Leroy, if I feel like Leroy is gonna save me, but almost the Kelsey. I need Maximus scaling. Almost currently away to Kelsey. So even if I play a Leroy, I will have to sell something on the next turn, which is not a good perspective. This needs to be later. Will he delay his nothing or not? <clears throat> Is the real question. I think I want to do it like this. I want this to kill two dragons. Mm, too much nightiness, I feel like. This goal works, but he also got an Acolyte, and he got another Knight in Atom. But he got a bit weaker, since he tripled Acolygos, but he got second Knight in a three place it, I guess. This goal is not gonna work out, he just gets too many eventual interactions. So this is not gonna work in the way that we want it to work. So I need to sell this for the Kaliroi. And Lero needs to be later, also. This can kill both Nightiness. And then Ghoul can go off, assuming I wanna keep it. If I'm keeping a ghoul, I'm selling a Pumba. Also, they might, might attack into it as well. Honestly, I don't care about a ghoul too much. I'm gonna go for maximum scaling. And then this stuff is gonna be helpful as well. Actually, I feel like Lyra is better than a Zap. I want to do the positioning like this. I feel like this is the best I can do. I can count what he got. This earlier will deal a bit more damage, but it's kind of fine. Omo will not have died anyway. There is some more fight to be done. Yeah, he was playing around a ghoul, and I just sold it. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to sell it. Since it wasn't really that useful. Since I got double Nazina, basically, my ghoul doesn't do enough. There is an attack sequence which will make it so my goal is useless. Like I get rid of Divine Shields and then second Night in Argos off. And my goal gets zero value. I need to hide this a little bit. He's gonna keep an acolyte a bit. Can't be like this. This isn't gonna die to an acolyte anyway. I 
Yet with against a goal that I was supposed to keep, in his opinion, he played well. But again, there is the real point to keep a goal. It's just not that good of a decision. Honestly, this scaling is pretty damn powerful, I'm gonna tell you that. Oof, this Leroy. Yeah, that Leroy just killed me. Lero into netting us an absolute worst case scenario. Even if I kill a Lero with my Lero, then my unit can survive and just and do something. But Lero into netting was just a miserable hit. But well, what can you do? Segment is good anyway. Alright, let me restart real quick since I forgot to enable the cracker again. Yeah, thank you so much, CFC Fake, for our prime. Also, thank you so much for a prime Krabble scheme. I'm pretty sure I missed it. I played a bunch of games before in the game. It will be too long to list them all. And so, I did not really play normal Hearthstone. I played it to take a break from Battlegrounds for like one month or something. Yes, <laughs> I actually remember that one. I don't even remember if I won or not. I'm pretty sure I miscounted little. <laughs> and did not win. I played at the Demon Hunter at that point. And you were playing like a priest or something. Yes, Melee. It's just that when you triple into a tier 6, you are looking for tempo, right? Since you sacrificed a bit of tempo before. Which means that if you get a 7 3 Atisa or you get at least a 7 Argosoa, it's not exactly gonna save you unless you're in a good spot. Unless you build for it. Yeah, thank you so much for 5 month Kubis Hour. And so good morning, Kuba. I kinda wanna save this. 
Isn't it then what our droplet is not ideal? What can I do with this? I mean, I can obviously double buy. Not double buy, just buy this, hero power this guy. And next time I can level hero power. But I want to go faster than that. I can level and hero power. Then I can level again and level again. And that's gonna be at tier 6. On turn 6, which is gold 8. Is that good or not? Probably yes. I like it. Now the question is gonna be, can I go for double sixes? I want this to be on turn six. If I hit a power this elemental, it's gonna be turn seven, which is highlighted to late. So I need to be a bit more creative. I think I can make it double sixes on turn six. If I just level right now, next turn I can level again. I'm gonna get a bit of a discount, I can hear a power. Then I can play second deck Sabian level. Then I can play this. And I'm gonna get this deck Sabian as well on turn six. Yeah, this works out. Just not get a power for now. Save this banana, Sorati Sam. It's important that I place elemental first, by the way, before I level on turn 6. Since if I play the Xabi first, then I will have to sell it, which is obviously a disaster. It's a big unit. It's gonna be a big unit. I just need to get good sixes. Some kind of combo between good sixes. It can be Argoso and Atisa. It can also be double Eliza. It can be double Felbert too.
This options are in the best, but this is pretty good for the 6. I also can buff it with bananas as well. And then, which one is gonna be my second option? Pastor is not really that good in this lobby, there is no beast, which means that there is no Macau. It can be a genie and a level next turn. But it can also be a fail but, but I'm not enjoying it that much. I think it's a genie for economy and a level next turn. I feel like I'm strong enough to be able to level, since this is pretty big. But if I take some damage from Patchwork, I cannot really level. It's very unlikely though, Patchwork leveled also. Yes, let me, but this is a 6-9 from the very beginning, and it's also a cliff as well. This is a great elemental, by the way. Exactly what I need right now. To squeeze. Better place. I can't even roll after a level. That's probably reasonable. This is pretty good for my 4 Reaper, but at the same time, not really. I would rather just roll. That's a good unit. There is also a smugger as well. It's what I get. Hmm. That's a good one, too. I guess I'm buying a smugger then. Don't care about this too much. I don't like this unit too much, Mela. I will try to get second little rock, I will try to get elementals as well. Like Smuggers, Genius, Tavern Tempest. If I freeze this, it's gonna be too expensive since I will have to roll afterwards, right? So not only am I buying this unit, I will also have to spend my gold to roll, which is not really worth it. Just too expensive. I'm considering cycling this elemental for a bit of stats, since I'm getting parts of elemental value. I feel like it's worth it. And I can even triple it pretty easily as well. This is tempting, but it's not that good. Second chain is really, really good though. So what am I doing? I'm playing this elementals. I wanna sell this stone. I see some, just in time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna go for it. It's just way too late for it to be relevant. Can go for a second one of those and try to triple it, but I will try to just roll.
Yeah, I'm just gonna go elementals. I need to find a recycling brave and then make it golden. That's gonna be my goal for this lobby. Since then I can actually farm some economy elementals, like I can cycle some elementals for zero value. Not zero value, zero gold essentially, since I'm gonna get that gold back from rolls. I said I want and stuff. And I got a rave too. <laughs> so I need to not die somehow. I want to roll a little bit before I sell my units. See if I can get some triples. So what am I gonna sell for a brave to work? I feel like it's gonna be a cyclone to be honest. I want to roll a bit more. This is a good elemental considering I'm getting double value. Yeah, I guess I'm selling a cyclone. Much is great. I said there is a queen, but I don't really need it. Yes, Sandra, it is force, but I need to sell both of them. It's not like I can keep on um, Cyclone if I sell a party. I still need to sell it, since I want to keep this journey. This is a lot better than a Cyclone currently. No, hey, it, it's not happening. It's just straight up bad to go for a <laughs> You just play Elementals. I need to make that journey golden and make a little rock golden, then I can free up some space to scale good units. Amalgam can get modules, so technically it's pretty good to scale Amalgam. Also this dome is pretty good to end on, I like it. Nice. Ask initial receive, they say. Ask initial receive. This plan is really good though. Second voice is not bad, honestly. I can scale this one. I need to move a bit faster, however. Since my time is not unlimited. I want this elemental for Damo, but at the same time it's not that good. Stasis elementals are kind of too expensive for what they do. I wanna roll more. Can buy this one though. Get some free rolls in. Don't care about amalgams too much. I want to cycle as many elementals as possible since that's gonna be the turn I get demo value. Next turn demo is gonna be gone, pretty much always. Second brand is kinda good. Try to make it golden, it's a good idea. I can scale this one or I can still focus on a single cliff, which is probably better. I'm gonna focus on this one. I feel like it's better. Since this might get sold sometimes. I also need an Argus by the way to protect myself from a Leroy. 
since if someone plays a leader like this Rina, I'm gonna have some problems, right? So I need to protect myself from a Leroy. I don't wanna buy it, Garby. It doesn't give me free rolls, so it's not really that good for card. I will need an Argus before I buy a Strong Shell. Also, don't say I skipped it. <laughs> you can say it in a question, like why did you not buy it? Skipping implies I would love to buy it, but I would not, and you don't know if I want to buy it or not. I want to roll for a golden prime before I play this. I'm gonna cycle some elementals. I also, also would love to end on a genie if that's possible. I'm actually not really used to buying Grief Explorers. I'm pretty sure I missed some before. It's just not something I keep my eye on, usually, since it's like a new card. And I usually don't buy it, but it's always worth it when you got a brand since it's free. I can end on a second journey, I can charge since another charge is not very strong, and I got double creep as well, which is really good. I can charge against what he's doing. Hmm. It's a bit awkward though. I need to play the scene yet. Looks like I'm not anything on this. I want to optimize three rolls as much as possible. I don't want to triple this. I'm gonna play a queen later on. Attack buff is interesting, but not really. It's not an HP buff, and it's not an elemental as well. Can't find a lot more units, a lot more better units than attack buff. It's actually a bit too expensive as well. Something like this is probably the best I can do for now. I need a Golden Brave to get more um, free rolls. Golden Brave makes me go pretty much infinite also. If I make it golden, my economy is gonna be so huge.
I don't know, Panky. I haven't played enough to tell you for sure if he's good or not. But in this game, he is definitely really, really good. Giving me a lot of value. Yes, thank you so much, Laka Dancer, right? As welcome, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I honestly don't know if don't know if I got enough or not. It seems like my units are too strong, but that's a lot of Eliza's. Golden one and a normal one too. And a lot of procs. But this is gonna attack again, right? This is gonna end his life. It's got too much HP to die. That's a good shiny value as well. Nice, wonderful. Pretty sure that Patrick is gonna die in one hit. Since I am way too strong right now. That one is good to play around Leroy. I'm gonna buy that one. I also need to be faster as well. I got a bit too much economy in my hands. Need to spend it somehow. Looking for an Argus, mainly. Argus is really good. Now send an Aliroi, if I feel like it. It's probably a good idea. There is an Argus as well, nice. I 
Yeah, he's also playing this kind of calm, but he's also not big enough. I'm just sorry to beef him. I see, yeah, going for double sixes by double big time. And turn six. I see, yeah, you can see that it takes forever to roll. I cannot really sell and buy minions as fast as I would love to. There is like a bit of a delay before you can do more actions. So it needs fixing. You cannot really play PM Parrot Comp since this delay is just gonna kill you. He has 7 bananas paid off as well for a 4 Reaper. Also Atisa, right? If I let's say get double Atisa, saving bananas is also a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, Alexander. That sounds sweet. I did not really comment on that story maker. I mean, I just answered the questions that people ask, but... I did not really do like an official comment, an official opinion, I guess you can call it. Yeah, thank you so much for 100 story maker. I appreciate it. I'm kind of curious about the real power. There really used to be pretty bad in Nagas settings since well, you will just get Harold by Nagas. Now it might be different. I'm kind of curious if we can get second on Daryl. Since you don't really go for a first place on Daryl, but second is reasonable. It's reasonable to aim for. That's pretty interesting, Mr. Wafrita. I might try it as well.
I actually feel like I was not supposed to freeze the streak star. It's just that Ketsen can only cut and a elemental is so much better than those hyenas. I don't know him too well on HP you are. But one time I just joined his stream since I was really curious what he's doing. And there was some really loud but good music. <laughs> so I feel like he is pretty similar to me. I also like like loud techno music or house music. But I usually play it in the evening, so now I'm just chilling. I'm not really in a mood for a house or a techno music. No height, I do not. Good day, they took him, sir. I can just a level, make it big on the next turn, or I can make it big right now. I feel like this guy is pretty weak though. I might be fine with this part. I wanna do it on the next turn, make it a bigger, then I can do it right now. Right now it's gonna be like 30 30 so maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill. I still feel the same way, TikTok. Usually the balance meta means that you can play whatever comp you like and get key units and get a pawn. Whatever comp you get after it, you can play it and still get a good placement. In a non-balanced meta, that's not really possible since some comps are just better than others. But now I feel like it's possible. I need to be in tier 3 since I want to get a Macal and then send it. Then I want to get a Golden Trickster and make that Macal. 
get some dimensions as well to buff. This will be good in a Murloc, so usually the extra combo is going to perform more exceptionally well. If I get my pieces, of course. If I make a Macau Golden, I also can even get a first place, but we'll see. We'll see what I find. This Menace is not gonna be um, a good union to dance on, since I'm going for my Call Tricks Dracom. This Menace is gonna ruin it, kind of. So I'm just need to, I just need to buy a Normalian roll, I guess. And buy something from uh, next shop. Yes, I see. I'm going for a Macau. And I'm also going for the Flecta as well, or like a Pabbo to then sun. So I can get some good minions to buff with Macau. Basically, there is no good reason to leave tier 3 for now. I can just stand tier 3 and chill, make some bikinis. And that's gonna be enough for top 2, usually. And then if I make a Macau Golden, that's probably gonna be enough for top 1 even, but we'll see. I am probably just triple buying again, honestly. And then on the next turn, I need a good target to dance on. But I need to find something to then sun on the next turn. If I don't find anything, then I'm gonna take a lot of damage, probably. So next turn is gonna be a roll turn. If I don't get anything good, I'm just gonna roll for a few times.
Yeah, the Skullgrunt kind of got a first place automatically, but this is like a ridiculous Hyrule, right? Siren is at tier 5 and he got top them. He also got double Orgazo as well. Which means that his tier 6 that he got from a hero power was second Orgazo. And first Orgazo too. It usually doesn't happen like that. They don't usually Hyrule that much. I'm a bit confused right now. Since I want to make this as big as possible. At the same time I want to big the flock as well. Actually... What if we sell this trickster? Nah, no, that's a bad idea. I just need to make this big as possible. Need to play faster as well. Looking for um, Macau and Sergi now, and second of Lakta too. It's just that I feel like if I don't make this pick, I'm not gonna get a first place or like a second place too. A single Macau is all I need to be ridiculous to strong. Can I still dance on this meanwhile? I think I like it. I need some good units. I want to buy one of them right now, and then send a second one. That probably makes the most sense. I say yeah, I... <laughs> I forgot that it's a demon. My bad. I did not realize that, that I can buff it for some reason. Now the question is gonna be, um, do I want to make this big or not? Like, I can just triple buy and freeze, and then sell the way on it. Alternatively, I can also just triple buy and double sell and buy it immediately, play an Acolyte and a Macau. It really depends if I take damage, I would say, if I need to go in or not. Nah, Amelia, that's way too long to level. I'm gonna lose so much stats on tempo if I level, Melo. That's just not a good idea. So this always happens. Zeph just doesn't seem particularly strong right now.
but at the same time, I don't really need this to be as big. I would rather get some bikinis to buff with Trickster, which is gonna be a deflector, or like a pop bot. I can even make it golden if I don't freeze. I'm gonna buy it right now. I feel like I like it more. I feel like it's a better play right now to do it like this. I don't really need to level Ryuka. There is nothing I would love to find besides a ribbon for Macau. I'm gonna sell this unit, but I'm gonna keep a Pabot since it's pretty big, right? So that's why I'm, I went above this one and not this one. The end plan is gonna be, I mean, an absolute end game plan is a Mindset Queen, Golden Macau, and Reborn, and a Macau too. But that's like not really possible, <laughs> since I'm pretty far away from a tier 6. It's just gonna be a trickster comp. Just like each trickster, Golden Bird, and some good units. Yes, thank you so much for the raid. Also, I hope that you are having a lot of fun, Jeff. Since I kind of like a new patch. I'm having a good time for now. Alright, let's see. Um, I actually made it golden, okay, great. This can be a tier 5 for a power run. It can also be a tier 5 for a Leroy and I put it first, which is a good idea, kind of. What else can it be? It can't never be a tier 6. If I let's say triple buy and I sell all my stuff, I mean Deflector, Deflector, Hyena, Katkar, I can't level and buy it, which is probably good, I like it. Nice units. <laughs> Kick W. Gotta be this guy. So I'm looking for um, Reborn on Macau. And then just good units. Something to dance on, I guess. Like a big Hydra can be good. I feel like he just died, by the way. <laughs> Those traits are horrible for his side. But this is gonna die, right? Then it's not gonna be enough damage. Actually, it's not gonna die anymore. This is 7, 8, 9. Okay, Quiggle. I mean, that's 44. <laughs> I was literally changing from like 0.2% or something. That was hilarious. Am I gonna dance another block or not? I mean, Calacrant is just way too powerful. I just need the golden against Calyvex for a good placement.
And if I'm going calling against Skullivix, the Sylphus is kinda good. I know that he got a 40 brand, he's gonna put it first, most likely. So this can serve as a cliff protection. But if let's say he delays his sorry perm, then what's gonna happen? This might go into a selfless, which is not that bad, I guess. Since this is gonna be too unshielded, but then I'm gonna lose a lot of stats. And it's so complicated, I'm just gonna do what I feel like is correct. Next time this and is deflect time. And go completely all in, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just still lucky. What can I do? This Leroy is gonna give him a lot of value. He also got a queen as well. That's just gonna kill this for free. Is this lethal, by the way? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is lethal. <laughs> Unlucky. Well, Lyra and Queen is too good against this. Against this kind of setup. But honestly, there it was not too bad. I kind of enjoyed that one. Maybe I enjoyed it since I did not face Galakron, that will just kill me. Yeah, thank you so much, Dominate with the right Tyson. Yeah, dominate. I got double tier success, center six. And that gave me a genie and a 40 per. And I actually saved bananas. So that 40 per was pretty huge. Yo, hi there, Malisar. It's nice to see you after such a long time. Are you enjoying the game, Malisar? Got a big Alvex, right? I don't like Rafam that much. <laughs> yeah, Malisar, I also feel the same way, especially hero balance. There is so many unplayable heroes right now, it's kind of ridiculous. Like Drektar, Tavish, Pyramid, Wandar, Tamsin. Some heroes lost the bodies, like Tavish, and became unplayable. Like Gav, for example, Gav is just such a bad hero right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, good afternoon, etc. I feel like the luck is the main issue right now. When you play an APM comp, you can see it very clearly that it takes forever to roll. Animations take forever. This needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Since it makes APM pirates unplayable and it also makes it so, if a lift single pretty much infinite on a different setup, like a golden recycling cray, for example, and a golden brown, it also makes it a lot more difficult and a lot less enjoyable too. I'm looking for potential triples in Tide Survive. Then I can level and get Tide Survive at some point. Kind of wanna roll as well. Don't wanna buy any Kim or a Scalivac. Rock pull is better. I kind of in the role, honestly, try to get a triple. It's really important. Nice. I can just level, sell this one. Next time I can level again, use a coin. Get a 0 5 and try to get a Fogar, Bran. Also, maybe some Murloc stuff as well. You cannot get a tier 5 next turn um, if you use a coin right now. You're gonna be one gold off. So you need to sell a minion instead.
the first climb to fast. Let me check actually. Nah, Ethan, that is pretty damn slow, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> not to be mean to Jeff, but this is not that fast. Can get a safe end and sell shell collector by Nikki, get poisons. A single poison to be exact. Or I can just get baby crush on level next time. That's probably a better idea. I like it more. You missed a very important detail, Ethan. When you look at your BG dailies, your numbers go up, right? <laughs> and when you look at Jeff's BG daily, those numbers don't really go up that fast. <laughs> That's like a simple math. But yeah, Jeff is definitely gonna climb a lot. At some point. No, he's not new, Mangalift. Um, he used to be number one in NA for quite a long time. When I was also number one in EU. He says he's streaming as well. I feel like I'm always gonna take 15, no matter what I do. Since this guy is hiring quite a lot. I want to keep a rock pull triple potential for the next turn. And I also want to level. And I also need to buy something. I guess it's just gonna be like this. Protect my baby crash so I can get value. But yeah, this is probably 15, most likely.
The positioning is a little bit confusing right now. I said this close scale is pretty good, but don't feel like it's worth of this to be honest. But maybe it is. I just don't exactly realize what I'm looking for. Looking for Hogar, definitely, and more Pegasus too. But what else? Don't wanna freeze this. It doesn't feel good. Now the question is gonna be, do I want to keep this more look for a poison or do I want to sell this combo? I don't like this best combo too much honestly, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Since I want to buy this unit as well for Pegasus. Buying spellcraft units is technically worth it as well for stats, but it doesn't feel good, not yet. This is interesting, but not really. Lobby got no max. This cannot really get much on. Actually got incredible kits, got a poison and I summited golden. That was pretty lucky. Yeah, Sartilator is not really that good. I'm not really buying pyres right now. I'm buying just cards that give extra value and extra gold. They are not exactly pirates. As I'm trying to get my Morlock as well. I'm trying to get a Sulfas. Can also level for a queen, but not yet.
Das Beispiel ist natürlich optimal, das nicht zu berühren. Ich denke, es war nicht speziell. 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 I don't want to sell this tiny right now. It's a lot of stats, but... A poison more look is just gonna be more relevant right now. I just want a level for a queen too, right? Or I can just get stats and pay gifts. As an alternative, and not level. I don't feel like I need to level in this lobby, to be honest. It's only a queen I'm looking for. Nothing else. Tiny is gone. Well, this just made it a bit more complicated. I guess Lira is gone. Uh, I wanna keep Pegasus since I need some stats. Stats are pretty important right now. I cannot just get more locks and pop that it's gonna be enough since that's not gonna be the case. I mean, leveling is pretty cheap. I'm just gonna do it for an extra minion. Second, some more options.
A Semenki is gonna attack first. Aldrin is gonna proc the times with Baron. That's gonna be 26. And then Aldrin. 26 HP. 26 attack, I mean. Supposing this first makes a lot of sense, actually. This first is second, then another pay game, then poisons. Can I be like this, honestly? But nah, no, I like this model. But Baron is golden, so this doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> I saw an attack second, and Hadri got a divine shield as well from a glow scale. At least breakpoint on this model look is good, but feels like I'm dead, honestly. Actually, never mind, I'm not dead, but it's a tie. I probably need to hide my Pegasus since even though I can't really trade a glow scale, people just get queens and Leroy's and taunt them. And Benes is gonna have Vic Town, or not Vic Towns, Poison Towns as well, like Leroy's and stuff. I need to hide those guys. Starting from now. I still need to be faster as well. Since there is a lot going on. Glow scales. I mean, the school is kind of too good, right? I mean, not really. It's a solid. Since I got double glow scale, I feel like I can justify not caring about cool. This is good against um, Queen, but I cannot really buy it right now. Something like this.
Now I need to find my Winfrey back. Winfrey is Falkart guy. <laughs> I guess I just wanna play, like, come on, stop giving me animations. PC doesn't deserve to die. This app is kinda useful, but at the same time not really. I need to buff it. I need a good spellcraft unit. From Argosa. Those are not it. That's a good spellcraft unit, I like it. So I can kill a Baron now, which is huge. But I also need to buff it a bit more as well. I still want to buff my Murlocs a bit more too, since I can do it. Don't care about Selfless. Wind for is also great. I feel like I'm big enough at this point. Yeah, definitely. His Hydra is also useless. Now I'm gonna need to beat Tess. Which is also definitely possible. Double gonna pick is so much scaling. I just need to keep going. Keep cycling some stuff. And not scale Nagas with Pegis. That's all I need to do. Is this the good or not? No, not really. Can try to make this golden against Saliroi. I kind of like it. Alright, this is my Alan. This can kill a count at Leroy now. It can also kill um, like normal Leroy. If it's 2 HP. This can kill poison towns. And this minions can validate. Right? Nice. What a beautiful game that was. There is a lock, Lakanagi. You just don't really notice it, but it takes forever to roll for me. I cannot really roll as fast as I click it. There is a bit of a delay. I don't want to play a king anymore. I don't like it as a hero. I feel like it's pretty weak right now. But at the same time, <laughs> I got kind of no options. I mean, Carol is not that bad, I guess. 
Gaff is unplayable, Illidan is also not that bad, but I would rather play Carol than Illidan, I feel like. And yeah, it's gonna be Carol. I just hate him right now. Yes, Naganers are definitely good. And they were definitely enough as well. They make Nagus still good, but not overpowered. I like them a lot. As you can see, I managed to scale this Naga with double Peggy, which is normal. That's how it's supposed to be. But before it was impossible, since... This just got too much, too much stats. Actually, those are not even worth it, right? I mean, they are three trees, I guess, but... Second power bot that takes three cells are better, but... Nah, this is a triple potential. It might give me like a tier 6 or something. It has to be worth it to go for them. I'm probably just gonna keep lowering and hero powering. Starting from uh, next turn. Then I can maybe level the tier 5 and figure out what I'm doing on tier 5. Can also be a tier 6 if I don't take any damage. That will be wonderful actually. If I can level to tier 6 immediately. Yeah, happy Friday to you Tom, Ada Fox.
Honestly, if I get a good roll in the next turn, I'm probably not gonna level. Like a double deflector. I can maybe play max if I get that. Or like a double chance to trust well. Would also be pretty good to get. It is pretty difficult to explain, not bomb. But basically what you want to do is, you want your frog to be first, and Makao to be second. Since you want Makao to proc, um, Silverat or like a rat pack, that got frog in it. Yes, yeah, thank you so much for the man killing. If I honestly don't take any damage, I'm probably just gonna level. And the next time. And then figure out what I'm doing on tier 5. Maybe get this triple as well into a 6. That'll be pretty helpful as well. It also depends on my next matchup as well. But this lobby isn't too powerful. Since people don't really level. Which means that they will not be that strong on the next turn. It's just not possible. Since they stand to their team. And yeah, I could have done it, but I just forgot that it works like that. <laughs> I'm not used to spellcraft being like permanent anywhere, but yeah, you can do it. Get four additional attack. I kind of like the scene yet. I said the scene is not that bad though. Or I can just level. Yeah, just level. It's just that there is some good things I can get on tier 5. There is an Agam, there is um Wrangler, so I can maybe buff up Abbot even more. There is also like a light wearing Mitrox stuff for Menagerie. And there is a Bristol Buck Knight as a good unit as well. Also safe in for poisons. So I got some options. Also Holy Mackerel too. Holy Mackerel is not that bad. And carry all. Nah, feeling like next turn is gonna be too much. If I level in the next turn, I'm probably gonna take a million damage. It's not like I'm gonna die, but still. There is just not gonna be enough time to stabilize, probably. If I just got a 6, I not care too much.
Tas ir tas, kad klās kalisās sāmē zinu. Can technically buy an armor from fire, unmill a bit of um, an attack on a glass scale, if I give it eventually, then if I give it some stats as well. But that's not something I would love to do. Just want a hero power, to be honest. Can keep rolling for now. Never mind, I'm not hero powering, this unit is way too good. Second one of those is really, really good. I kind of need to get um for Reaper in this camp, or like a Siren on the next turn. If I triple this or this into a for Reaper, that's gonna be pretty close to being a first place accelerator. Since then I can also get Wind Fury, right? So I should have Wind Fury, maybe some attack as well, and for Reaper is gonna carry me. That's like the ideal case scenario of what I want to happen in this lobby. Yeah, I don't feel like I can level, and I also don't feel like it's reasonable to level too. Now I can beat that. It's gonna be way too late. If I go for a brown and a Markai. My setup isn't really about that. I'm gonna build around this card. I play like double holy mackerel or something, can survive. Get some spellcrafts, get some stats. I will be pretty happy to get on Rukazo as well, but. Leveling is a bit too expensive right now. I also feel like I want to get second holy mackerel as well before I level. Since second holy mackerel makes me a lot more stronger than I am right now. No, I mean, it doesn't work like that. If you let's say give to eventual to this guy and then you triple, you don't get anything permanent. It doesn't work.
I want to make a golden siren into something and golden myrmidon Elsa into something. I'm gonna play like a mix between um Nagas and Holy Mackerel stuff, I guess. A golden ranger is gonna be my main scaling, I guess, if I don't get a Tisa. Elsa can just level, but I'm not sure that's a good line to go for. I need to triple something anyway. Also, second Holy Mackerel is gonna be good too. But I basically need triples. Second Yes, I see, kind of. This is a lot of scaling, but it also has snared before. Imagine this being a 4-4, four -four, that will be so much better. This will be like 40-40 already. And it itself will also be 40-40. But it needed a nerf, honestly. That card was the next step to become broken after I see some. At least I got a second, Honey Mackerel. That's what I wanted also. But it feels like I'm dead, honestly, to ticket us. At least Illidan might be dead to us need, but... It feels unlikely that's gonna happen. Since he's not that weak. But anyway, getting top 4 on Kirill is kind of an achievement on its own. So even if I die, that's not gonna be a sadness. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for it, Mount Zorga. It's a good afternoon to you. Did you play yesterday, by the way, Zorga? I don't even remember. So are you, like, enjoying what's happening right now, or is it still not enough for Nagas? I feel like Nagas got nerfed considerably, so it's kind of enough to make them... 
pretty so powerful, but not overpowered. But I haven't played that many games to know. It feels harder to survive in a uh, mid game when you are playing Nagas. It feels a lot harder since there is no Siren. Siren is not survive and it's pretty difficult to find as well. I'm also playing a lot of different comps, Sorga. I'm playing like whatever I get, and it works pretty well. I mean, sometimes I die to Nagas, but <laughs> what can you do? It's not very often that Nagas Carol too much. Also, I see a lot of people die playing Nagas as well. Yeah, there is some variety that I sent, there definitely is. Since not everyone can go for Nagas, not anymore. I mean, it really depends, Taiman. If you get a golden at Sisa, you will scale faster than a single Nami. But if you make a golden Nami and you make some triples, golden at Sisa is not even close, right? Yeah, I also noticed that Zerga actually. People that got Arcoso and Siren and then found that Sisa. It feels pretty much the same, but if they don't Hyrule that much, it's a lot more difficult. Since Nagas got no mid game. Kind of. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, Cold on Mirmidon is not that bad, right? It's better than a golden sun bacon, it has to be. It doesn't even give me a spellcraft on this turn, by the way. <laughs> I was really confident that when you make it golden, it gives you a spellcraft, but it does not. Feels bad, man. This is interesting. He got a Naga, so it can be a coin Naga, right? Never mind, it cannot be. It's this Naga. Since if that was a coin Naga, he wouldn't have deal damage. Which also means that I don't really want to hear a power just on a level. No Santarama, you can only get it once per game. Arena Hero Power, you can only get it once on Panda. But if you don't take it, you might not get offered it again. It's pretty um, rare that you get Arena on Panda. So you always take it. Even if it's turn 1, you still take it. Since it's very unlikely you will get it again, it looks super unlikely. By the way, Vulcan is incredible, it's insane. Look at what, what I can do. I 
And this is a 6-6 six -six permanently. Isn't that wonderful? No, Daniel, not currently. It's just that it takes forever to roll. Animations take forever. They're kind of playable, but you cannot go as fast as you used to. And scaling is also gonna be limited for that reason. I'm gonna wait. Let Galvin play some minions, and then I can steal them. Now Santarama, it's exactly the same. You don't lose any stats. Whether I hear a power it in shop or after I play it, it's exactly the same. There is no difference. Yeah, if he's also waiting, <laughs> if he's watching me and he's waiting, that will be a disaster. Hmm, the Vlacta is nice. This is too late. I still got value, but it needed to be a bit earlier. I, did, I was not supposed to care about reset too much. Embrace an element or a puzzle box and level. Level and roll. Pick Yog. Still a tier 3 from a shop. As so this is... Nah, it's not that good. It's only 4 HP, like, come on. Got to be Yog and a level and roll. I don't want the Slurkers. This menace is what I want. Feels bad, man. No, Stayman, it's different for our Panda. And Panda, if he gets Cubs, it's immediate. But if he plays Cubs, then it doesn't make sense to wait here. Yeah. They're just different. Scabs from Panda and normal Scabs. I think he can Dark Equim, but I don't know exactly if he can or not. Another Vulture, another Broken Combo. I want a level for sure. He better just consider that, so. <laughs> well, seems like he got a pretty bad discovery. Hmm. 
All right, I got an idea, chat. Now, if I get a second Necrolite, it's gonna be an 8-8. I'm only doing it for a second Necrolite mostly, but <laughs> the spell looks good, doesn't it? I get a huge deflector. And again, if I get a second Necrolite, it's so much that. Well, this was a bit too greasy, <laughs> but to be honest, if I get this throat bar or a necrolite, it's pretty good, right? Uncle scale. I mean, it's got to be a glow scale, it's just... What am I doing from now? I'm just level on by next turn, I guess. But honestly, it was better to pick Rakara and just buy some units. The priest was way too greedy. It was like a Harrel potential. If I Harrel, I'm happy. If I don't Harrel, then it's not a good line to take. If I let's say take a lot of damage from uh, Gilwing, which is likely to happen, I can maybe first see Doram, then I can level again. I look for some good stuff. Alternatively, I can also play Menagerie this lobby as well. If I get an item, I let's go to Golden Trickster and a huge deflector and a close scale. In fact, my Menagerie setup is really, really good for an item or a Light Fang. I don't want it to be first spears, since then it's gonna buff our water droplet and then I'm gonna be sad about it. This might be a 2 10, which is not a good stat line. <laughs>
No Hachma, not really. I was rewatching MasterChef and I actually did not watch season 8, so I started it recently. I rewatched all previous seasons and started it 8th season. That's what I was doing recently regarding TV shows. It was fixed, I mean, on a um, previous patch, it was fixed. Yes, Reason Chant, it was sixth. The same about stat buffs as well. If you let's say give attack to a manus, it's not gonna be permanent anymore. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to wait, but if I wait too much, I'm not gonna have enough time to do my turn. But I'm gonna wait a little bit. Until like 30 seconds, maybe. Nothing useful, sadly. I actually like this game quite a bit. I'm not sure I like Zephyrus anymore though. I want to set some gold for the next turn. I might not even find any triples. 
So I'm gonna pick Alivex, play an again, play an Argos and roll. Shulk have gone Zephyrus. <laughs> I'm considering second an island about it though. I feel like it's good. Then try to triple it as well. I'm saving some gold for an external fetch mom. Since if I sell a strong shell, I get gold for a Galavix grab power. So that's relevant right now. I mean, you can do it, Kashima, but it really doesn't matter that much. I can just sell it next turn to unlock myself if I feel like it. Hmm, that's a good one. Let me play some more battle price. That's a good one as well. The scary macro is gonna be pretty big. I'm gonna buy that one and sell a glow scale in an agim I play it on Argus, I need to be careful about where I put um Shadowlink. Hmm. I also play to sell the wow as well, so I kind of need to be faster. I didn't really recognize my sell the wow though for some reason. But that's fine. Actually, did I even play a Soul Devour or not? It was a previous game, right? A Kirill game. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just dumb. Yeah, thank you so much for Swirl for a Prime. I just remember that I played a Soul Devour on a Trickster at some point, but it was actually a previous game on Kirill.
I say you have a swaddled. I need some new images. Some new emotes. Second guy is good. Now the question is gonna be, uh, am I lowering for a queen or is queen not good? The level 4 probably not good. I'm just trying for buffs pretty much. And the triple as well. I mean, splitting image is a lot of value. The units are pretty big, and I say, if I get a splitting on a 4 Reaper, that's I saw a lot of stats. Especially if I get it with Divine Shield. Just need to get lucky, basically, and attack first. Then I'm pretty sure I'm favorite. Yeah, he is pretty weak. I feel like he's gonna die, though. The stats aren't really good enough. Against that demon guy, I just need the um, stats. Double an island is gonna be um, a lot of value against this guy. I said this cliff is really, really good though. But I'm still not leveling, right? I still wasn't here power is incredible. I can't get rid of this guy. No stats to Holy Mackerel. Or level, get second for Reaper as well. That's a good idea though. I like it. I need more attack or not. It's probably good to buy this unit. I like it at least. I want to for an next turn as well. So I'm gonna keep it on my board. Alright, this is good. It will be problematic uh, since people will not play at that often, Titus. So that next best scaling is gonna be Ranger, and at 2 2 it was pretty good stats, I'm gonna tell you that. It will be definitely problematic. Yeah, good day to Eagle Ice.
This has to be the best positioning. This can kill a Leroy. Since he's gonna play around this cliff probably again. Or he's just gonna do like this. <laughs> this positioning. That's gonna counter me for sure. I mean, to be honest, he kind of got no chance since I'm too big. I also got eventual actions as well. So his Shagger is not as useful against double Holy Mackerel. And I got a lot of HP too. Well, that was unexpected, but I guess Bran is still pretty good.